Hello guys, today I want to discuss the situation if you want to create properties in your resource classes of filament. So for example, you need an array of statuses which would be reused in the form and in the table. And there's one thing you need to know about. So here's an example. In the form in one of the fields we have those options for radio button and those are hard coded at the moment and you would reuse the same thing in the select column of the table to quickly change those. So this is how it looks visually in the browser. So this is in the table. And of course, this is repeating and kinda violates the principle of don't repeat yourself. So it's a good idea to extract that into a variable, which is used only in this resource. So it doesn't make sense to extract it somewhere else. It could be in the same class, like statuses here. But if you try to use that variable instead of options, you would have this statuses you would get an error if we refresh the page or in fact it is the form so we need to get to the form and this is the error using this when not in object context and the reason is that form and table methods in filament resource are static static which means they don't know anything about this because there is no this object of that resource similarly in the table let's rewind back and in the table, let's try to use this statuses like this. So PHPStorm auto completes that for me, but underlines it even here using this when not in object context. So if we go back to the table, it would be the same error. And the solution to that, if you want to create some kind of variable inside that class, is to make that variable static. And then whenever you need to actually use that, you refer that not as this something but self statuses like this and then in the select column we change that to self statuses like this we refresh and the table is working again and the form is working as well so this is my tip the main thing you need to know and keep in mind that table and form functions are static so create all the properties to use inside them also static that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos